Hi, Danielle. Got a customer who sent in a sample of a composite specimen. Wanted to know a little bit about how to gauge it. And it's got a rough surface and a smooth surface. What do you think the right adhesive would be for this? Thanks, Tom. Well, for the smooth surface here, I would use our M-Bond 200 adhesive. However, for the uh, coarse or more rough surface that we see here, I'd go with our AE-10. What about surface preparation, conditioner, neutralizer, degreaser, what are those things? Sure. Um, in terms of degreasing, we generally would use, use GC6 instead of uh, some of the more aggressive degreasers that are out there. But in terms of conditioner and neutralizer, the composite is fine with the neutralizer. However, when you're dealing with fiberglass composites like this one, you can use conditioner and neutralizer together. What about the resistance of the strain gauge? 120, 350, 1000 ohm? What would be best? Since composite materials are generally poor heat sinks, you would generally go with a higher resistance gauge like a 350 ohm or greater in this application. Is that because it produces less heat? Well, it actually uh, minimizes the current flow, which drops the heat and makes it a lot more stable. Right. What about the STC or self temperature compensation? Well, for composite materials, we generally are talking about STCs of 00 or 03, depending on the material itself. What about the size of the strain gauge? How big a gauge or how small a gauge should I use on my composite material? Right. Uh, in terms of composites, we generally want to go with a gauge that has a pretty good averaging capability, so that would be something on the order of a eighth inch or a quarter inch gauge length. Excellent. So well, let's go ahead and bond a specimen. Let's do that. <laughs> 